probably should have asked you these questions. What well, and filmed you at the same time. Mm, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to go backtrack and ask you about Dwayne. You guys went to Miami. How many days into it were you? We had already, I don't know how many days we had already into it, but we'd already recorded three songs. And uh, were you thinking we hadn't even thought about it. We did I Looked Away, Bell Bottom Blues, and Keep On Growing. Dwayne wasn't even a thought. Was anybody else a thought? No. Did you have anybody else on board? No, no, hell no. And uh, it was just, uh, we got, after the uh, uh, Keep On Growing, uh, Tom said, uh, we'll call it a day, fellas. And he said, the Almond Brothers are in town. Uh, perhaps we'd like to go listen to them. And, and we did. And just for a break? Or were you guys on just stuff? No, just a, it was the end of the day. Just tired. Yeah. And we've been recording. And uh, like I said, Keep On Growing was the last one. So that was the first three songs? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you did the first three songs. So you, didn't, you didn't suddenly just get stuck and, and couldn't do anything without somebody else. No. What happened? We already had, uh, we still had uh, Any Day, uh, Why Does Love Gotta Be So Sad, Roll It Over, Tell the Truth, um, I Looked Away. Those songs were already complete. And um, when we went to the thing uh, to hear the Almond Brothers, uh, well, we invited them back to jam with us uh, that, that night. So we went back into the studio that night. And they recorded everything. Right, so you guys stayed up for... All night until um, in the morning. And Bush mm -hmm. Trucks and most of the other ones left, you know. But Dwayne hung in and uh, he and Eric, you know, were just, they just got on real well, like gangbusters. And that's when we invited him to uh, be a part of the album, the record. And they had some things to do. He flew away, came back and uh, joined us and uh, for a few days and we recorded the rest of the record. And it was it was no uh, like key to the highway one take that was it you know um, uh, nobody loves you when you down knows you when you're down and out one take. But you, you weren't know? planning to do those songs. No, no. Suddenly this happened. record's getting bigger. Is what no, it. and the record suddenly got bigger, and then they wanted us to do Johnny Cash show uh, because that was the only show for, um, for music, and uh, Carl suggested that we do It's Too Late. <laughs> Uh, Bob Will's song. Did you want Dwayne to do that with you, or was he? No, just not huh? we didn't even talk about Dwayne doing that because he was only did. He was he was hired to do the session, you know. That was it to do the the record. As a matter of fact, uh, Domingo Samudio, Sam Sham was in the other studio uh, working on a record, and he paid Dwayne to come over and play on his record. So Dwayne would actually. Uh -huh recorded uh, our album and uh, Sam and Shem's record at the same damn time. So, so I mean, hiring it, out as a He, he was a hired gun, Dwayne Session Almond guy. was. Session guy. Yeah, session guy. He, Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, I mean, you know, Boss Gags. Well, that's kind he, of the typical thing you do when you're a musician. That was what I was trying to get. You have to make money. He's, to not break, writing, he, he's not writing songs. No, uh, to break, uh, that's for sure. And, uh, but to break uh, 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 Did him Dwayne into Did Dwayne write the, any songs? Huh? Did Dwayne write songs? I was thinking, he only, one song that I know of, and it's, a, it's called a Happily Married Man. And I think that he wrote that <laughs> okay. probably right before he divorced. Did so he, I don't know. Did he and Eric ever try to write together? No. The only time Eric and Dwayne spent together was in the studio and in the hotel room. And I was there the, the photos, whole time. Yeah, you took those photos, right? Yeah, I took pictures in, in, in the hotel room. Yeah. And we'd been up all night, and uh, uh, they were playing uh, Robert Johnson and Elmore James and Big Bill Brunsey stuff and swapping licks and trading stories and talking about, well, that was Big Bill playing. No, that was uh, Elmore James playing with Robert Johnson and, and Dwayne said, well, he did this lick, and Eric said, no, he did this lick here. So, and I was kind of standing against the wall, right. watching this all go down, and it was just incredible. All night long, all night long, they played, and... and uh, uh, Did you uh, sing or play or anything, or you just No, no, uh, I just, That's so I didn't, there was nothing for me to do, you know, there, <laughs> these two guys were locked in, it was like a couple of old souls together getting reacquainted, right. and, uh, but, uh, uh, 
It was pretty amazing. I knew that there was something going on. I, but I you had it. known Dwayne. I'd known Dwayne because he came to be with us with Delaney and Bonnie to help pull them out of that rut that they got in. Um, to they do, were in the rut, not you guys. Uh, yeah, Delaney and Bonnie were in the rut. But uh, no, we had to, we were we were ready for for the the later record. It wasn't we couldn't we didn't know what we were going to do next. We knew we were going to do something, but we didn't know what song it was going to be. But we didn't have a plan on what songs we would do. We were jamming it would come turn into one thing, jamming it would turn into Bell Bottom Blues, jamming it, it, even though the songs were already written. We didn't know, and it's okay. And then it uh, keep on growing. You know, I wrote that. So what was the first thing that happened when like? You, you guys invited Dwayne. Was it the same day after you guys were up all night? Did you just go in, no, continue on in the studio? No, we, we, uh, we were up all night at the studio uh, jamming, and they recorded all that stuff. I know, but all did right? you take uh, a day off? Or? And, 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 no, the next day, uh, they, they went away, and then he came back like in a few days. I forget how long it was. It might have been a week. So you must have done some, some more time. stuff aside from the first three songs before he... No, we only did those, and we took a little time off, and when he That's came back down, we went into the studio, and everything just happened, you know. Uh, they were supposed to keep the tapes rolling all the time, and uh, once Tom went to the, Tom Dow went to the bathroom, and we just started playing Key to the Highway, and he come running out, pulling his pants up, saying, push up the faders, you know, and that's why it fades into Key to the Highway, but nothing was really planned. And the, uh, um, uh, so was everybody all excited when Dwayne was there and like, oh wow? Yeah, everybody great. was up. It was great. He fit in perfect with with our band in the studio. Did you guys work stuff out, or did you just yeah, go ahead? like uh, Little Wing? Uh, uh, that was I'd never even heard the song. I didn't know anything about it. And Eric decided he wanted to do Little Wing, and Dwayne came up with a da da dum 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 da dum. And Jimmy was still alive, right? Yeah, he was still alive then, and uh, he, he passed away a few days or something, a week or so, after we recorded it, but uh, I never heard it, and I, as they, were, they were working out, you know, I'll, I'll play this, and you play that, and you know, I'll give you the nod, you give me the nod, in and out. Eric and Dwayne were uh, working their parts out when, when the song was being played, and I was writing the lyrics down to it and putting them on top of the organ, and as soon as... Uh, uh, that was the song was over, and I was finished writing all the lyrics. It was like uh, Eric was counting it down, you know. Let's run this thing, and then we ran it once, and then recorded it once, and I think it was like take one. We did all the vocals and everything live. Uh, pretty cool, you know. Everything was live. For the most part, that album was a live album. They did some overdubs, overdubs, but for the most part, it was all live. You know. 